the time is now for restoration and increase. Feel the power. Witness the glory. The glory is real. The power of God is real as we take back God's territory. One soul, one house, one block, one community, one city, all at one time. Feel the power. Witness the glory. Word in Action Christian Center. Welcome to Word in Action Christian Center. I'm your host, Pastor Clarence Langston, saying this is the day that the Lord has made. Come, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, call a neighbor, tell a friend, let them know that their miracle is one step away. Come here quickly, daughter. Yep, come here. Hurry, hurry. Hey, come here. Run up these stairs. Run up these stairs. Run up these stairs. Come on, come on, come on. Like you got something to get from me. Come get it from me. No, you better come get it because I ain't giving it to you. You better come get it. better run with him because it's in your following after God's man and women of God as they follow God that the glory will catch you. you come on you come down and chase down your prophet hurry up chase down your it's yours I'm just the deliverer your hand give me five you want to give me five you give me another five come on give me five all right give me another five like nobody you somebody girl I don't know when folk there's been so many people lying to you you so blessed you so blessed it's stupid lift up your hands whoa there it is just did come here daughter God's about to give you double for your trouble because you stayed the course it's not about let me tell you something God let me tell you this it's not about how right you been or how wrong you been because the devil been on your trail lift your hands Devil been telling you about this. You don't have a right. You shouldn't even still be going to church. You miss it here. You miss it there. God told me to tell you this blessing that's about to come to your house don't have nothing to do with that. The devil all on you. God said he went to the cross for you. He said nobody has the right to point the finger at you. Some of the family members are going to roll their eyes and start acting kind of funny. God said he going to bless you because you ain't quit on it. There it is. See? That's. Turn around. Turn around. Watch this. Watch. Whoa. There it is. See? Catch her. Come on, come after it. Come after it. Come after it. Get you. Gotta be on them now. I'm telling you, it's a new anointing. You gotta. You gonna been with us for a little while. I know when you first came, it's always a transition. You're looking at this young couple, and you're looking, and you're wondering about these things, and God begin to show you things and confirm things, and our lives have just blessed your life, haven't I? I see you all like rockets. And your life is just taken off. But there's a place that you've always desired to go in ministry. You all literally been in ministry almost your whole lives, even as kids. Your father's a pastor, right? You've always been around religion and religiosity and all of that. And there was things that you've always even tried to do in your own strength because you had the heart of God and you saw people hurting. And even in your family, it's been a struggle. Hold hands. Because you chose to honor me and my wife. Because you chose to love us and pray for us and, and undergird us. God is about to give you guys the desire of your hearts. Men of God, even as I raise you and your wife up in this house, you guys are going to go to teach on days. And the teaching, you, know, you think you had a teaching on it. It was like you would teach so far and it was, like, it was almost like a hindrance. It was almost like you couldn't, you couldn't flow with it. It was like you would hit a roof. 
where you could only go as high as what you were connected to. And because you connected to this man of God and you chose to follow me in spite of it, and you wrote down some things that you wanted from God, God is going to raise you up to be in this place. I see you on the days to come. I'm telling you, stay humble. It's going to come in the days. Write this vision now. Stay connected. I see, I'm telling you, I see you as a pastor in this house. I see you sometime when I'm gone. We're going to have so many churches. You guys will be running uh, 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 the church sometime when I'm gone. There's an anointing I release. It's off of my life. 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 Your dues wasn't in vain. Your dues wasn't in vain. Did, did, he, did he forget? Is that you? Let me tell you, God spoke to me. Nope. I ain't forgot. Nope. I've been keeping my eye on you. I've been watching you. People don't know that's my job. God talks to me about you and I watch you. I watch you from afar. And every time it looked like you're about to give up on waiting for me to come, I backed off. And it was always at the time I was about to come. God said, nope, not yet. And I said, if she's here Sunday, I'm going to bless her. The devil fought you in every way he could this week, honey. What's wrong? Am I right? Okay. People be surprised what your prophet know about you in your private life and what's going on in your house and what's going on around you in your head. That's my job. I watch over your soul to bless you, not to hold you. But the enemy will always fight you all because he knows I'm part of pushing you off that mountain. There's a grace on your life and all of your life you struggle with it. Literally. You, you, you were like always fighting to get out that lion's den. Like it was like always somebody was trying to do something, trying to stop you, trying to hinder you. And one thing that God showed me when you came in, God showed me that your heart was right. But because of the things you had to go through, it caused you to become a fighter and a contender and, 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 and you had to look out for yourself. And so you tried to, sometimes you couldn't be happy if you wanted to be happy because you didn't know when to trust and when not to trust. And, 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 and some things, even when I was a minister, it would like hit you and the devil would say, talking to you. And it would almost stab you like, I ain't did nothing. And why this always happened to me? And I would see you going through it, but I would never come to rescue because you had to be proven to another level. And it was never about you and God was delivering you from always thinking about you because of where he's about to take you dog that makes sense you ready for this give me your hand he's about to bless your socks off that's it I can tell you God say nope he'll say it to you again nope God said where it looks like everybody else Sometimes the enemy makes you feel so rejected that you have learned over years through that voice to reject yourself. And God told me to tell you, nope, nope. God says you are called to be blessed. People will look at you in the days to come and they will want to know you because of what God predestined for your life. I would blow your mind if I told you that not only were you going to have a powerful relationship with God in the days to come, you're called to be a wealthy woman. I keep telling you, when I look at you, it's all around you, and the enemy wants to have you. He wants to, to literally just drain you. When I look at your eyes, I see. See, you may get away with it around some people, but you can't get away with it around me and my wife. When I look at you, I pray harder for you at night because I see it. The enemy sometimes literally gets on you about taking your own life. The devil is a liar. I come against the spirit of suicide. I, I come against the spirit of death. You can't have her. You can't tear her. She is blessed coming and going. I cover her with the blood of Jesus. And I command the premature death spirit. I command the spirit of suicide. I command the spirit of hate. Go! Whoa, whoa! There it is.